creators, it's Mrs. Turner. We are gonna talk about dividing using the big seven strategy. Fire. So the big seven strategy is really similar to the long division algorithm or the way that your parents and myself learned back when we were in fourth grade. We are now moving away from actually having our equal groups and just symbolically thinking of those groups. So we have our dividend divided by our divisor equals our quotient, our whole divided by that part. So whatever your divisor is, this one is four. We're gonna start the exact same way that we've been starting, which is to write the single digit facts for four for one through nine. Remember, we write this down because there's only a single digit for each place value. So if I move on to 10, that's a two digit number. I can't place a two digit number in a single digit spot. So like 10 hundreds, that would move to the thousands place value. So we only need to have one digit. So I start with my hole. My hole is 427 and that is gonna go inside of the box. And then on the outside of the box is our divisor and our divisor this time is four. And the reason it's called the big seven is because now we're going to draw the line down to show a big seven. Other than looking like a seven, this has nothing to do with the number seven. So now we're gonna be thinking about, if I had $427 and I divided it equally amongst my four children, what is the most I could put in each, to give each kid? So I'm looking at this four, and I'm thinking that's in the hundreds place value. So I'm gonna start with my hundreds facts, right? Four times one is four, so four times 100 is 400. Four times two is eight, so four times 200 would be 800. I don't have enough to give each child $200, but I do have enough to give each child $100, right? So I have four groups of 100, and I'm gonna write that on the side, four groups of 100, four times 100 would be 400. So what is inside each group right now? 100. I have 27 left. Okay, now what you could do is you could take this one and you could put it right here above the four because the one represents 100 and this is the hundreds place value. You can also wait till the very end to write your answer. So now I have 27 left. If I moved on from my hundreds facts to my tens facts, right? Four times 10 is 40. I only have $27. I can't give each child $10 because I don't have $40. So I have used zero tens and I can go ahead and put a zero in the tens place value. Or I can wait till the very end. And then I think, okay, single digit facts. Four times six is 24, four times seven is 28. 27 is right in between there. So I can give each child $6. That would be four groups of six. And that's a total of 24. So what's inside of each group? Six more. And I have three left over. Okay. So really when we look at this now, these two together are answers. So that single digit six would go in the ones place value and 100 plus six is 106. What is left over is this remaining three that we does not fit inside of those groups. If I have four kids and I give three of them $1 and I leave one of them without that extra dollar, there's gonna be a large fight because it's not equal. So this is the amount that didn't fit into those groups. This remainder needs to be less than our divisor. Let's say the number that I got was five. That means I could place one more into each group and then have one remainder. So it has to be smaller than our divisor. It could be zero. If you get zero, that means it's, it's divided equally amongst those groups. And this is how we're gonna write it in fourth grade. Now in fifth and sixth grade, you will learn and you can use the big seven to find the answer as a fraction or a decimal. And that's like if I took those three and I could cut them up into smaller pieces and then give them those equal smaller pieces than one. So like a fraction or a decimal and you can get your answer that way. But in fourth grade, we're just gonna leave it 106 remainder three, and then we have to check our work. So remember, this 106 was in four groups. So four times 106 would be 424. I add the three remaining, I should get my whole 427. So that's what I wrote down here. 
Four groups of 106, so four times 106 is 424. Add that remaining 30, I should get the whole 427. And I did, so I did it correctly.